Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Gal Vanguard here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing some Crash Landing. Now what this game mode is, is basically it's a hardcore survival map. You're basically stranded on a deserted planet where you crash landed. Let me go ahead and start a new game so I can show you what I am talking about. Alright, and here we go. As you can see here, we are stranded on a deserted planet. There's dust everywhere. Our ship crash landed. Our fuel tank exploded everywhere. There's just fire going around. Now to start off this, we get a couple of quest books. We get a couple more books, basically. I don't really find useful, but if you do, that's good on you. Uh, the first things we're gonna need to do, we are going to need to collect a lot of dust because when it becomes nighttime, so many mobs spawn and they are so strong that you will die unless you are well prepared. Another thing where I look out for, as you can see, my bottom left corner, we have our little temperature thing that shows us how hot we're getting, if we're cold enough, hot, stuff like that. And then we have a water container in there as well. That basically, uh, we can see how much water we have in our body, per se. Um, we really need to watch out for that because if it gets too low and if we get too hot, we will get something called heat stroke. Now what that is, it kind of zooms in our vision and it will make us really slow so we will not be able to run at all in this game. Another thing too is uh, we gotta watch out for our hunger and all that kind of stuff and the reason why we're gathering all this dust is because in one of the chests in this ship we get an oak seeder and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna seed all this dirt we get a bunch of materials like ore dust, stone blocks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the main things that we're going to need to get are those stone blocks. Now what they are is you get, they're kind of like little pebbles, you're going to get four of them and what it makes is cobblestone. We're going to get a lot of that because we're going to need cobblestone to make a furnace so that we can cook food so we can smelt all the ores that we get as well. And so another thing that we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and block up this fuel tank so Creepers don't accidentally get into it and explode it completely. There we go, that's all blocked up and I didn't die. Uh, so let's go ahead and collect all this stuff and I will see you guys when it's nighttime. Alright, guys, it looks like it's becoming nighttime already. We got a lot of dust though, we got two stacks and we got 11 as well and as you can see my screen kind of zoomed in, let's go ahead and enter inventory, we have heat stroke which as I said before is not good, it will slow you down immensely. So for the time being let's go ahead and break these glass blocks so that we can kind of move around a lot more easily. Alright now that we got everything cleared out and a bit more spacious. Oh, just take a look at that. Look at all of those mobs. Yeah, a bunch of skeleton spiders. Look at that skeleton. He is huge. If you get shot by him, you are going to get one shot immediately. You, there is no surviving that. So luckily we're saving here. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and start off this quest book. So let's go ahead and hit, hit the start button. We've already got 16% completed. Let's go ahead and open that up. Just little log entries, not really important, basically saying, oh, you've explored around the area, which I think is really dumb. And so the main thing we're going to need to get, we are going to need to get two fluid transposers. What you're going to need, as you can see, there is a little drying rack with a crescent hammer. It's not really a hammer, but it's like a, more like a wrench. So you go ahead and shift, so you crouch down and you go ahead and right click that. Next what we're going to do is we're going to head and claim those rewards and as it said in this quest book these are really important because of the water intake and we are running really low on water so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink some cold water because that's going to boost up my water immensely so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Boom we're already back up to 77% and our heat stroke is gone which thank goodness because it is a pain in the butt to deal with. Now, for this chest, we get two leadstone flux capacitors. We get some beef jerky, delicious. 
We also get quest delivery system. I'll show you how that works in a couple of seconds. We also get spot loaders, which really helpful, especially if you're exploring the planet. But we'll be doing that in a later episode. And then we also get a crafting station and an oak siever. Let's go ahead and get the oak siever and the crafting station because those are the two things that I really need right now. Let's go ahead and place the crafting station up there. It's kind of like a half block, so it doesn't really matter where you put it. Next thing we're going to place is an oak siever. Goodness gracious, these spatter spiders are so loud in my ear. Let's go ahead and turn sound halfway there. Perfect. And so what we're going to need to do with the dust, as I said before, we're going to need to sieve it right here. And after I sieve the couple blocks, you'll see that in the bottom right corner, we get a ton of material. So let's go ahead and see what we got already. We got some pulverized iron ore, we got some redstone, and certus coarse dust, pulverized silver ore, and we got some bone meal as well, which is really helpful. Uh, these books are taking up a lot of my inventory, so let's go ahead and put it in this bookcase over here. Don't really need them except for the long quest book. Let's go ahead and right click out of that. Now, very basics, and also you got the easy route and the hard route. I'm going to show you which routes I'm going to take. I'm going to take the easy route, of course, but I'm also going to show you what you get in each one. So, what you need for both of them to complete it is just one dust block. What you get with the easy route, you get an oak sapling, birch sapling, you get some ammo for your needle gun, which is really helpful because it's like a bow and arrow, but a lot quicker to fire. You also get 64 bone meal, 2 PB&J sandwiches, which boost up your health so much. You also get a shell constructor, which will save your life. No kidding, I'll explain that in a second. And you'll also get a leadstone energy cell, which... You're going to need to power a couple of options, but I'll show you that in a quick second. Now for the hard route, you're only going to get a birch sapling, spruce sapling, three bone meal, or is that eight? That looks like an eight right there, and only one thing of ammo for the needle gun. And as I said before, I can't do that, so I'm going to go with the easy route right over here. So let's go ahead and manly submit. Let's go ahead and claim all that. And so right now, let's go ahead and set up our shell constructor over here. We're going to need the leadstone energy cell. And I'll let you see, as you can see here, it's kind of like a uh, futuristic tube chamber, as is everything in this game, really. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to turn the right block orange so that this receives energy. Now what you're going to need to do here, you are going to need to right click. It's going to take a bit of help from you, but as you can see, shell owner is now under my name, Gallo Vanguard. And it starts constructing and as you can see here it is so cool it starts building you up one block by one and this as i said before it will save your life so if you die you will kind of respawn back here but it's kind of helpful um if you don't die <laughs> now another thing let's go ahead and get this needle gun and in this chest we get some needle gun ammo so I'm just going to take that and what I'm going to do with this chest, I'm going to use it to store all of the ores and minerals, everything that I gather so that it doesn't take up space in my inventory. Let's also get this beef jerky. We're going to need this quest delivery system in a second, but not right now. Let's go ahead and put all this water. Oh, let's go ahead and just put three waters because I'm going to fill up our camel pack. Let's go ahead and fill this up because I am getting really dehydrated right now. And now, as you can see, it empties it, and we keep the glass bottles, which is really helpful. Next, we're going to go ahead and put it on our chest. And if you see in a few seconds, there it is. Our water intake is going up, which is amazing. And to fill this needle gun, you just right-click, and you're going to ahead and put one in there, and boom, it's ready to use. I was getting a bit low, so let's eat some of this beef jerky. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do a couple more things and I'll get right back with all right and we're back so Let's go ahead and continue seeding more dust until it is daytime because Can't really do anything while it's nighttime unless you want to go outside and die. Oh There we go as you can see this is the stone that I was talking about we're gonna need a crap load of those to be able to create a furnace which is going to be super helpful in the future but anyway let's go ahead and continue seeding all right it looks like it's become daytime right now so what we're going to need to do is break these two blocks crap don't want to go too close unless these small spiders <laughs> now here comes the tricky part what we're going to need to do is no 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 
Oh, he didn't die. That could have been so bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to run, 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 jump, 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 jump. Oh, crap, 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 crap. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was so close. I did not turn it around in time. Let's go ahead and collect some of this material. Oh, that scared the crap out of me right there. All right, and we still got a ton of dust. Let's actually go ahead and let's start making like a little wall so that we can go ahead and protect ourselves and let's go ahead and start building this thing up. All right, and looks like we got a lot done in this little day of the world. So let's actually go ahead and try and get some more dust. As you can see, I made a pretty good wall. Um, we did have a have to make a huge hole in the wall though. That's because I don't have anything to block off the spiders from climbing the wall that I made. So I'm gonna have to need that a little escape route every time that I come out. And I'm gonna need to dig out a little trench here so I don't fall into it every single time. Ah, oh, dang it, and I'm getting dehydrated. Crap. I'm also getting very hungry, so let's go ahead and get one of these PB&Js. These, as, as you can see, it gives you so much hunger. Let's go ahead, come on. Mine, 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 mine. Come on, dig all of this dust up. And as you can see, this shell has been constructed, ladies and gentlemen. That looks amazing. And let's go ahead. Can you get this water? Or else I'm going to die. Wait, actually, before we do that, there is a little quest called Very Basic. Let's go ahead and submit this before I do anything like that. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and fill up my camel pack. All right, everybody. That looks like it's actually going to be the end of today's episode. We got a lot done. We were able to build a wall, be able to get... A lot of space cleared up in here. Uh, probably the next things we're going to do in the next episode, we're going to plant a tree, make a tree, and see how everything goes beyond there. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Any support's really appreciated. So if you want to hit the subscribe button, go ahead. If you don't, you don't need to. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.